Bye. I'm bad. Hey. I can't believe I'm back. I'm doing a fucking makeup video. Like, it's been, it's December. I probably haven't done a video since July. And your girl is back in action. Today we are reviewing ABH Norvina Collection. I'm so excited. This warms my heart that I even own this palette. I have not purchased. First of all, hello everybody. If you are new to my channel, my name is Sherry Alicia. And my channel is dedicated to all things beauty. Every once in a while I might throw in a little vlog or two, but for the most part I love shopping. I like spending your money and I like telling you what I spend my money on and I like reviewing shit and I like putting on shit. So if you are interested in being a part of the team, then just subscribe, hit the notifi notification bell and maybe that will notify me to upload frequently. <laughs> I'm so excited to be back. It feels good to be sitting in the chair, to have my ring light on, bright as fuck, and I even see myself. I am really, really, really excited. I have been wanting this palette for a while, and I finally got it. I'm super excited. Um, I haven't bought an ABH palette in quite some time. The packaging is beautiful, even though we won't be picking it, uh, keeping it. It is non-comedogenic, dermatologist tested. Um, there are 25 deluxe size high performance shades for professional grade artistry with maximum payoff. So, Nervina, I'm sure you did this thing. When I first saw this online, at first I wanted the mini, but then I was like, no, I think I want the, the, the big one because when I look at the palettes that I already own, first of all, this is sturdy. I would probably be super excited to travel with this. Um, it's vegan, cruelty free, last 18 months. And this is the volume three. I know that there are two more options. I will put them in the screen. Um, I thought about all the palettes that I have and I do have a little section. I'm, as you guys know that I'm not crazy about eyeshadow, but I've been trying to be more into eyeshadow because I feel like they complete the look. This is like a normal look for me to me, like mascara, a little blush contour, and I will call it a J. So, um, around here. And then this is probably going to be like my crease color. Um, I'm not a huge fan of having to always use brown. Um, okay, so this isn't really picking up color that well. Um, I feel like I need to um, dip. I don't know, it's not really like, maybe if I just push it into it. Can you guys see that? It is definitely like your mustardy highlighter. It's not even mustard. It's definitely like highlight gr highlighter green, but it's not transferring on my eye as well as I guess I would like. Press it so I can see it. It's kind of like throw up green, which I really like. I don't own anything like that. Let me just buff this out, make sure that this is getting like the idea. Guys, I can't believe it's almost 2020. This year, it didn't fly by. I think 2019 definitely took its time. Um, I had so many interesting things happen to me. There were challenges that I need to have and it took me a little bit of time to realize how much I needed to focus on nurturing myself, but furthermore, like nurturing the relationship that I want to have with people and who who's worth having around who isn't. And there were some tough lessons that I had to learn in terms of like, you know, job situations, friend situations, it, it, like my living situation. Like I had a lot of transformations happen in 2020 that I think 2018 Sherry probably wouldn't have made, not been able to recognize. And I, I think in some ways that I have shown the universe that I am willing and ready and capable of doing i kept saying i wanted so much Ugh. i feel like 2019 to show me if you really wanted that bad then prove it and it took a lot out of me but i'm really thankful that everything has happened because it shaped me into a better person i think that i could there's more to be done but i'm in a i'm I'm in a better place than I was 2018 and 2017 and 2016. Um, hairbrush. And I'm going to dip into A4. And I want to just lay that on the actual eye. Um, lay that on the eye. So all the colors that I've been using are matte. Um, 
I think the one thing that I'm noticing is that you have to work you have to work in in pressing down and I don't know I'm starting it feels a little patchy yeah I've, I've learned a lot of lessons and, and 2019 has been about how I am viewing myself in my personal relationships you know and I've had to I, I've had to review who's who's worth keeping around and who's not who I have uh, outgrown and who's outgrown me and and definitely like I've learned a lot in my love life that I feel like I didn't, wasn't getting in 2018 and especially in 2017. 2017 I wasn't really concerned about being in a relationship because I had just graduated college and I was like I'm gonna do my own thing but 2016 I feel like I had some rough moments in my romantic relationship that I think kind of came full circle in 2019 to show me where I can improve on how I deal with just men in general but also just how I deal with myself with the men that I deal with because it's like when do you realize that it's not worth it so I think I'm going to move on from A4 because it's not um, building the way that I would like and I feel like anytime that I move the brush on it's not like giving me what I envisioned it's a whole like bald spot. Anastasia, what happened, sis? What happened? I keep trying to press more and thinking that it's gonna be fixed, and it's not. So the green is like, it's definitely a vibe. <laughs> it's definitely a vibe. And I want this like doo doo green to like be vibrant. You know what's funny? I was about to say probably the most controversial thing that I'll probably say on my channel, which is I think this is why a lot of people like Jeffree Star. Because the payoff that his products give you, I think some people just like fuck him, but they feel like they're getting their money's worth when they give up. The coin to buy his product. I own one product from Jeffree Star and I have not used it. I'm not like a huge fan of like you know what he represents in the beauty community. I feel like he's kind of like a mean girl and um, don't get me started on like the stuff with the racism because those stories never really like line up for me and I feel like watching drama channels and watching um, other channels to sort of understand his perspective is really exhausting and I just don't have the time for it but I will say I see why the girls be tripping and why he gets the views because I think that he does care about the quality. I mean, despite what he represents, he probably does really care about the quality. Because I'm, this is really exhausting for me that I'm not like getting what I desire in terms of like eyeshadow. And Okay, I don't know what happened, but I just got, like, I'm not getting the same payoff that I'm getting, I got from, um, this is devastating, so you can see. Like, it's, it, this isn't what, I don't, I don't know, this is not the vision I had for you, Mark, I'm Mark Jacobs, but. ABH, like what happens is this isn't really so you can see like it's it this isn't what I don't I don't know this is not the vision I had for you Mark I'm Mark Jacobs from ABH like what happens is this isn't really thinking I'm gonna make this work because I'm so I'm such an optimistic person like everything can be worked out everything but what if the truth is not everything can be worked out like what's going on like I'm had I'm having such a patchy like situation trying to make this bitch work that I'm very like confused 
things are patchy things are not sitting as nicely as i want them to and i'm kind of like damn do i like record this video again and try with like a different product but like i shouldn't have to do that i think the biggest thing is um the vision is i don't know the shimmers are not as exciting as i thought they would be and i thought that this would be like super cute and bright and it's just not doing anything this is why i hate wearing eyeshadow because what does how does one find success in an eyeshadow like look the package is nice the idea of these bright colors are really nice but i don't know if they're brown girl approved and i feel like brights don't get me wrong don't get this twist at home this will be nice. the, the feeling i feel about brights especially when it comes to like makeup i feel like brights this is very entitled of me and this is very forward of me but i'll just keep it 100. brights are supposed to look good on us period point blank period it's meant for melanin skin and the fact that it's just not like doing it for me especially i expect this from shimmers i shouldn't expect it from any eyeshadow because they're at that billion dollar level like these kind of things shouldn't be happening oh how about this i'm going to try to recreate this video another time and use a different kind of um eye primer and see if that will change the results because i'm shocked that it's 4.7 out of 5 stars and reviews out of 69 and people really like it youtube will be really the de determining factor i did not watch any videos before i requested this palette so um I just saw how pretty it was and got excited. Don't get it twisted. A bitch could get returned at any moment. But anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap up this video and edit this. I'm really unsure if I would want to post it. Um, this is not how I wanted to come back to YouTube. I wanted to show you guys a fucking look. But unfortunately, I have green all in here. Like nothing really looks beautiful or like a look like this is not something i would want to see on anybody and now i have green all over my brushes so i'm going to try to do this video again if not i will try i will record it to see how i like it if not this bitch is getting returned um so indecisive in conclusion to be determined to be determined thank you guys so much for watching my channel and i appreciate you welcome me back give me a round of applause and i'll see you next time